Welcome to the spoken tutorial on negated coil and negated contact. In this tutorial, we will learn about working of negated coil and negated contact. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system, LD Micro, Open PLC main board, 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS, USB ASP programmer, traffic light module, and switchboard module. To follow this tutorial, you should know how to program Open PLC main board and interface Open PLC modules with main board. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Connect SMPS and USB ASP to the main board as shown in the picture. Keep these connections throughout this tutorial. Let us open LD Micro. First, we will learn about working of a negated coil. Insert a coil from instructions as shown. Double click on the coil. Select the negated option in the type column. Rename the coil as LED and click on the OK button. We can observe a slash between the brackets for a negated coil. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on simulation mode. Next, start real-time simulation as shown. Observe the state of Y LED in the I.O. list. We can observe that the state of Y LED is zero. That is, for a negated coil, when the input is logic 1, the output will be logic 0. Now, turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on halt simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Now, let us compile the logic. The detailed steps on how to compile and save the logic are explained in the earlier tutorials. Click on settings and select the microcontroller AVR Atmega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. Then assign pin PA0 to the coil Y LED. Compile the logic as negated coil dot hex as shown. Then save the ladder diagram as negated coil dot LD as shown. Now we will see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the main board to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys simultaneously. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the main board. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Connect plus 5V pin of the red LED of traffic light module to 5V pin of the main board. Then connect the ground pin of the red LED to PAO0 pin of the main board. Make the connections as shown in the picture. Note the difference in the connections with that of a normal coil. After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. We can observe that the red LED is glowing. That is, IO pin PA0 gives the output of the coil which is logic 0. Thus, we learned the working of a negated coil using an LED.
turn off the power supply. Remove the connections made for this example. Next, we will learn about the working of negated contact. Switch back to LD Micro. Instead of creating a new file, we will make changes in the previous file itself. Place a contact to the left of the coil as shown here. Double click on the contact and check the negated box. Negated contact will pass the state of the signal when its state is logic 0. Rename the contact as switch and click the OK button. We will now check the working of this logic. Start real-time simulation as shown. Observe the state of the contact and the coil in the I.O. list. Initially, the state of both X switch and Y LED are 0. Change the state of the X switch to 1. We can observe that the state of Y LED is also 1. Thus, when the state of a negated contact is 1, it doesn't pass the signal through it. That is, the output from a negated contact is 0 when its input is logic 1. Turn off the simulation mode as shown. We will now compile this logic. We can observe that the microcontroller and its parameters are already set. Assign pin PC0 to X switch. Compile the logic as negated contact dot hex using the compilers option. Then save the ladder diagram as negated contact dot LD using the save as option. Now we will see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the mainboard to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Switch back to the terminal. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown and upload this hex file to the mainboard. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Connect ground and 5 volts of switchboard to ground and 5 volts of the main board respectively. Then connect NO1 of the switchboard to PC0 of the main board. Connect plus 5 volt pin of the red LED of traffic light module to 5 volt pin of the main board. Then Connect the ground pin of the red LED to PAO0 pin of the main board. Make the connections as shown in the picture. After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. We can observe that the LED glows even before the switch NO1 is pressed. The red LED turns off whenever the NO1 is pressed. That is, the corresponding switch LED and the red LED glows alternately. Now, connect PC0 to NC1 instead of NO1 as shown in the picture. Let us see the live demo now. We can observe the red LED is off initially. It is on whenever the switch NC1 is pressed. That is, the corresponding switch LED and the red LED glows simultaneously. Now, connect PC0 to L1 as shown in the picture. Initially, the red LED is on. The red LED turns off when the L1 is pressed. Thus, the corresponding switch LED and the red LED glows alternately. This shows how a negated contact behaves with different types of switches. Turn off the power supply. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about working of negated coil and negated contact. As an assignment, 
try cross combination and observe the results. That is normal contact with the negated coil and negated contact with the normal coil. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI team, signing off. Thanks for watching.